thought it would be harder. He simply wasn't enough. He comes to me at the bottom of the bottle. The horned master of cubism. We drink to the fall of reality. Till the shapes sharpen and I cut myself on the rectangular, infinitely straight edges of my glass, and he retreats to his nest in the iris of my left eye. It's hopeless. I... I just can't take it anymore. I might as well try to paint with both of my arms broken. Art is beauty, writes. A painter recognized widely for his talent a few years back. These painters, as they call themselves, either forgot what beauty is or decided to insult it. Waste of paint, waste of talent, waste of time.
is not about watching. It's about feeling. With all senses, every part of your body. It's the only way to understand it. The only way to eliminate doubt. Echoing screams. They stop at nothing. I won't go down easy. Everything I do, I do to stop thinking. To stop the questions. Is this really the house I know? Where am I? What, what is behind that door? What is behind me? The questions are worse than anything that can actually happen. It is no wonder that an old star rebels against the light of the sun that outshines it. Truth is, his paintings have been bland and overly conventional for many years now. They don't evoke feelings. They don't say anything important. They are, at best, pleasant to look at. Art shouldn't be pleasant. It should be world-changing. I loved him the most when he lost himself. Fucking mutt won't shut up! Hey! I can do that too! <laughs> See? But can you paint? No? Well, that's all right. Neither can I, apparently. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. While this is true of many works of art, sometimes the words that come to mind are hardly flattering. Babyface is one such painting. This artistic anomaly continues to inspire thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts, when in fact, it is little more than a sideshow attraction. Frankly, this is hardly even art. It's merely a doodle. It's what you get when you lock a not very well adjusted painter in a dark basement for a week. Even putting aside the flawed execution, the painting is still deplorable. You left me alone.
understand. They don't see tasteless malcontents. Judging by the silence that has now fallen over the house, I can safely assume that he's finally passed out. <laughs> Undoubtedly, surrounded by empty bottles and tattered pieces of canvas that have become his preferred bedfellows. Every time it happens, I pray it will be the last. I pray fervently, passionately. Our Lord in heaven, let him crack his head open and the rot spew out. Let him cut his wrist on the glass and the red bile flow. Let him choke on his own vomit, so that we may all find peace. For if you don't, one day I will find the courage to walk down the steps and end him myself. You of all should know, it's not the lack of will that stays my hand. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat? Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, uh, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daughter, though.
Where's locked here? Maybe locked here. You're sure you're safe here? Don't believe. It's just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? And so, our agreement, although fruitful, must come to an end. We seek someone who understands modern art a little bit better, who is able to engage with it. And you, sir, don't seem to be that person anymore. Your reactions to other reviews and letters from our readers don't encourage further collaboration.
everyone hates it. I have to make it perfect. Uh, that's a good question, Peter. In fact, that is a very common misconception. Some people think it's just about putting paint on canvas, but they're wrong. I believe that every detail must exist in the mind of the artist before the first stroke is made. The process itself is more about following these preconceived steps rather than just going crazy with the brush. Personally, I have always perceived it as a ritual. A ritual? Sounds ominous. Not necessarily, though I will admit it carries a certain risk in order to create. The artist must first deconstruct himself, figuratively speaking, of course. If the artist succeeds, what most people see as mere tools of the trade will become the implements of his ascension. Holy artifacts. I wouldn't go that far. Art is often quite beautiful, but the process behind it, rarely so. I need to start practicing. I don't care what he thinks about it. I'm not myself without music. Floor creepers. Traps in the floor. Devouring my foot. Afraid to walk.
finish it or die trying. Finish it if it kills you. Don't let the doubt get you. Art is not about watching, it's about feeling, with all senses, every part of your body. It's the only way to understand it, the only way to eliminate doubt.
Only I could help him. Only I can help you.
You deserve this. All of it. All of it. I needed something to add the... How should I put it? Final touches. A finger. I needed a finger. Chopped it off. Easier than sawing a leg. Washed it. Dried it in an oven. Fell asleep. Almost burned it. Will I manage to pull this off? This is private. 